All righty, it's been so long since a construction update. I have to be truly honest, there have been markings popping up every single day. New markings, new everything. So I've been taking a week to gather information of where these things are, um, potential paths, potential what's going to happen with them, gathering information. Um, and I think I'm ready to speak fully on what all this means. Um, as I speak right now, there are probably new markings. I'm heading to the park in an hour. Today is Saturday. Um, there's going to be new markings next week as well, as a survey company is literally at Wonderland every morning before the park opens. Um, with that being said, this is the most obvious project on the screen right now. There is a new project um, in pre-development for 2024-2025 that is starting to develop in the Whitewater Canyon area and Yukon area. Um, which I'll talk about after all this. But I'm just quickly showing you all the markings um, in Camp Snoopy or Planet Snoopy, whatever it ends up being. I truly think it's going to end up being Camp Snoopy over in Kidsville. Um, I, I, I can't see why. We're one of the few parks that don't have Camp Snoopy. Or it's just going to be a Planet Snoopy expansion and it's just going to expand um, to house a lot of these additional guests that the park is experiencing right now. Um, but that being said... Um, Lots of action. I definitely think Wonderland's going to be looking into adding some restaurants. Um, something similar that you see going up the Lazy Bear Lodge in Frontier Canada. I could see them building a smaller version of that back there for families in Planet Snoopy. I could see them also adding, you know, a, a new really tiny roller coaster. One where most of us probably will not be uh, short enough to ride. So don't get too excited. Um, and a bunch of little kids' flat rides, and just maybe some entertainment options back there as well. I think Cedar Fair is going to be really looking to uh, draw in those families and give them something else to do outside of just rides. Um, so you're going to see a lot of food and beverage enhancements in Kidsville and Planet Snoopy uh, in this new expanded area, um, and definitely some rides mixed in with there as well. It's just the lines are crazy back there if you go back there on any busy day. Now let's head on over to Frontier Canada. There is definitely some pre-development. I'm actually going to be able to explain to you what some of these survey markings mean. I've done a lot of research and I have some really good friends that know a lot about construction and engineering. Um, so the one you just saw there is called a reflecting um, survey marking. That's not the proper name, but that's the best way to dumb it down to describe it to you. Essentially what they do is they'll bounce light off those um, and then the light bounces back to the surveyor. And what they're doing is calculating distances. Um, so usually they'll want to get distances from certain parts to other parts. Um, so a surveyor will have a specific spot to stand, um, and then they'll calculate a distance. As you can see, there are markings that go even all the way back on the path. Um, there is several different types of markings. There's the nail in the ground with orange spray paint markings. There's the orange ribbon on some trees and white water markings. Um, and there's uh, definitely the distance markings that you're going to see a lot of in this video. They're on a, almost every Yukon support column. Again, that tells you everything. They're calculating distance. So it could be for clearance. It could be um, just, again, for distance uh, uh, away from a certain attraction that could be coming. Now, when you see markings like this, this does not mean 2023. Markings like this are usually done in the pre-planning phase before an attraction or whatever it could be is coming. So, for example, let's just say they were building a restaurant right in that green pot of land that I just showcased. Um, that would be, uh, they would want distances as well. Now, with how far spread out these distance markings are and these markings as well, I'm pretty safe to conclude that there is a roller coaster coming in the area. And I can explain why. So these markings stretch all the way from over here by Yukon's Helix and Yukon's back um, area here, all the way over to Action Theater. Um, and um, that's a pretty large plot of land that you're surveying. And the markings all align in terms of number grid. So the Kidsville ones align in numbers as well. So you have like the certain numbers over there. I can't remember them now that I'm recording. But these ones align, and we actually found some that even match, like 49 and 49. So we knew that they're calculating the distance from 49 to 49. So we saw 49 over in this area, and then 49 on a Yukon support column. So they're calculating the distance from these two things. So that was quite interesting. Um, but I'm trying to think if I missed anything, because, I again, I've been trying to really understand construction. But here, I'm going to put a map of the construction markings and the areas of interest on here. In the purple-pink color, those are survey markings that we saw last year in 2021. 
So again, pre-development, pre-planning. So that area is of importance or concern to us. And then the orange is the new markings this year. And the yellow is the area where we see some sort of action. Um, I haven't done an update in a while, so I just thought I'd showcase the new Pizza Pizza renovation that occurred in um, Splash Ricks. It's truly stunning. Love it. Would love to see more of these Timber Kits projects throughout the park. Um, but yeah, the restaurant, um, by the way, stopped construction for about a week and a half due to the storm. I guess they were just surveying damage. It is now full force um, moving forward with construction again. Here is some of the side paneling that has gone up. It's truly stunning. Anyways, thank you so much for watching uh, today's update. Um, again, you'll start to see more of these pop up as construction starts in Planet Snoopy um, and pre-construction starts in Frontier Canada. Anyways, thanks so much. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.